Hi everyone, in this video tutorial I'm going to share the technique for city modeling which is special agents. It's basically using these three components here. One is that the special agents uh, which is the tie flow and then there's a target object the cylinder, the red cylinder here and in between both of them there is a uh, obstacle which is the city blocks here. Um, so this um, technique is very helpful for city planners or urban designers to simulate the point-to-point -point workability path using special agents. So we can start a new one by deleting the previous work. And first step, we need to create the city blocks using the box here. Make it 30 by 30 with the height 50. Then we want to uh, do path constraint. Um, and then I've already made uh, the line and then pick the path so that it follows the path in uh, for the array. And then click the count to 6. It's a gap of 30. Then we want to assign uh, the height uh, variations by using the curve. Using the big scale curve and then use the curve into like half. And then next is that we want to shift track it to copy into like five times so that we can have six by six uh, city block. And then we need to hide the line and then we want to make these blocks into like one. So using these utilities collapse as one. And then we can edit it by using a uh, right click, convert to editable poly. And then click the polygon like for example like this one. You can rescale them to like this big. Or whatever is whatever you want and we want to delete well, the one in the corner because we want to create uh, the attractor there the cylinder then create the cylinder one on the corner then assign uh, the color red for that one the modifier this one we can assign a uh, gray color then next is that uh, we want to um, create the special agents using a tie flow. Using this tie flow, create this um, tie flow, and then add the helpers tie icon here. And we want to make the tie icon as the source for the special agents for the particles. So click um, the tie flow and change the modify here and click the open editor and then there uh, we create the birth and then to assign this as the source uh, the tie icon as the source we click uh, we put the position icon and then pick the object so that we have the particles here but we want uh, the particles to be like a cube shape so change into geometry and then add the shape and change the shape into um, cube and you can change it the color into like magenta And then we want to make uh, the special agents generated towards uh, the this arrow towards the path. So we create um, the speed speed here, and then click the directions for the along icon arrow, and then click the icon. So that we have here is that uh, 
the agents or the particles is created uh, towards the directions of the the icon arrow. Then we can rotate this one to like 90 degrees. And then this direction. And we can drag it to the top. So that we have here. Now we need to put the target. So add the target using this find target. And then uh, click the target. Target object, speak this one. Then we can control the speed of the particles uh, to the target because currently we're having these uh, agents that is like passing through. So we want to make it more like closer to the surface. So we change the velocity into like three. Selection of 10, and then we want to make it uh, randomly close into the up, uh, attached to the object here. So they're like attaching to this area here. And then next is that we want it to be a collision with uh, the target. We pick the target. Change it to mess so that they're like having a collision there. And next is that we want to have the obstacles here. Uh, that the agents is like collided with the city blocks. So to do that, we use the collisions before the fight target. So what we're telling to the tie flow icon here is that in order. One is that we give birth to the special agents using this position icon within a speed, specific speed in the end directions with this shape. And before reaching the target here, we put a collision, which is we pick the collision here. Then we change the radius to like two. We can also like uh, control this uh, random uh speed there like the magnitude changing to like four then change the divergence because we want to make it like a natural like diverse special agents like put it 30. so we can have here is that um random uh targeted there I think it's pretty much the outcome that we want. Yep. And lastly, you can render it. So to render this one, you need to add the mesh before the geometry. So it will assign as the mesh uh, for this one. And then you can do the render setup and with this one, in this case, we're using the scan line render. So here we have the agents, it's like um, colliding with the, uh, with the city blocks before going to the target for the render. And you can assign uh, the materiality, whatever you want here, you can edit it more. I think it's pretty much for uh, this video tutorial. Hopefully, uh, this technique is helpful for like city modeling or like the walkability path. Thank you very much.